Okay, I've got to get this out, or this is going to be literally eating at me for the rest of my damn life. Uh, I guess you could title this The War Within um, by Fred Bauhoff. So, fuck. It all started about fall of 2018. It, it was an interesting semester, I gotta say. Um, starting out uh, after doing uh, Latin dancing and ballroom two in spring uh, over the summer. Uh, then I had done uh, stuff as work study for Willie. Got horrendous grades because I got in over my head with shit, uh, like too many extracurricular activities. I had three courses that were online that I failed two out of the three of them. Uh, I enjoyed the scuba class way too much, and I just decided that I was, well, my last semester as a horticulturalist and my uh, first semester would be winter as a botanist, so I decided to actually do that. And throughout the fall semester, I started on uh, competitive barroom dancing, uh, tango, um, waltz, cha-cha, and there's one other that I'm missing. Can't remember for life of me, but doesn't really matter that much. And then uh, did good amount of classes, Ryan Contreras' class, um, uh, integrated pest management, uh, looking at all those things, and it was like, okay, it's turning me even more toward botany with plant pathology, uh, going for integrated pest management, and then seeing about John Spruill and his stuff with geographical information systems as a certificate, I was actually spurred on to do that, which seemed pretty damn cool because a spatial analysis for integrated pest management, or as I say now, integrated problem management, it would help me out a lot in areas, one, because plants are fucking everywhere, and <clears throat> mm. My throat's dry that I could go places and help them out with, uh, let, let's see, pe uh, pest pressure, uh, let's see, pest problems, uh, invasive species take up about 70% of the destruction of horticultural um, forestry and agricultural crops because of global trading and so with that then that means that i have to go in see about the environment see how conducive it is toward the past see how conducive it might be toward the predator that we might have to introduce or do stuff with anti-aggregation pheromones yada 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 you probably don't want to hear all this i was extremely passionate toward this and i really want to get there and put my foot in the door and just breach that door because i want to go toward that full force and that was all great um and uh, side note, I actually found a guy who uh, is hopefully going to be a really good friend of mine in Strimbeck of Rune Nation, former infantry marine that also did uh, security for a while, personnel security, and uh, just knows his way around the pistol and rifle, as well as uh, later on in April, which I did this over the break, I did it uh, with him of a two-day uh, unarmed uh, combatives course, and which was nicely aligning. Nothing like ever I did. But the culmination of the starting of these events, which led me down the path toward uh, me leaving the SVA, is... <sighs> I can't believe this started happening. There was a fucktard of stuff that happened. So... <clears throat> I got told by my roommates, uh, Democratic Socialist DA, um, that they were moving out in a month, and uh, it was just like, okay, you, you have a month to find a place, or less than that, and that pissed me off, because that was the weekend before finals, and then my parents are just, oh yeah, you have to focus on finals, not house, like, shit. No, I have to focus on both finals and a house, so that stressed me the fuck out. And then, because uh, I didn't tell them that I was going on vacation like I usually would every time during winter, that I was pissed off uh, about that, but they didn't tell me about that either, so I had to take extreme ownership with it and just suck the fuck up and do that, because why not? And I didn't tell them, so I couldn't be angry at them uh, for them not telling me why I didn't tell them either, so it's two-way communication street, and that was shit. 
but went through that, uh, went through a good amount of houses on Craigslist and Facebook, uh, found a really good one, but the shitty part was as good as it was, as good as the roommate, uh, the roommate who actually would be trading with me, a uh, female, like it was great, affordable near campus. All the other people want to see me before school, but I had a week before school and I didn't know how long the paperwork took. And it was just more like as I was on vacation in Florida with my family, I was still getting stressed out because of this clusterfuck that was going on. I told them, hey, like, if you want to contact me, I am there. My time is yours. It's very important that I actually get this house. And so she, uh, with that, uh, I was working with her very well. She convinced all except one. And a week before I got back to school, the guy was just like, oh, no, fuck you. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Don't even get in there uh, because apparently like, I was a threat to the girls above. Uh, I, 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 I don't wish any harm on him. The one thing is just, just people that don't want to know about other people don't really care because pushing their perspectives on that really fucking pisses me off. Uh, we'll come back to that later in a more poignant time. But that got me into abject homelessness for about two months because uh, then it was really hard for me to actually get a house because apparently only 20% of the guys on Craigslist and Facebook actually respond to it, respond to those uh, inquiries about whether or not the houses are still up. And if they do, about probably a third to half those, like, oh yeah, sorry, those things are already taken up, but they don't fucking take them down. And you see my stress. Yay. And so then I'm going throughout the semester. Uh, Steve actually gave me uh, a place to live, uh, like couch surfing with them. I'm extremely grateful for that. Always will be, uh, no matter my feelings toward him with, uh, with the other stuff that I'll be saying later. But... Uh, let's see, uh, stay in a hotel for a night, stay in an Airbnb for a week with Steve. And then, uh, for the five days with Steve couch surfing, thank goodness. And Juliet was nice for like a therapist, but then I stayed at on-campus housing, uh, for four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks there. And at that time, I was going through bot. Uh, I was going through uh, botany courses, organic chemistry course. Uh, Emily Swenson, you're freaking amazing, uh, and Doug is awesome. Uh, don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Even though you, s <laughs> even though you seem autistic, quote unquote, you're actually pretty damn good. Uh, thank you for helping me out, uh, especially with some of the stuff. <laughs> But th this, this is where it gets kind of weird for me because I wasn't even expecting somebody to just pop along. And it's just like, oh, hey, really good friend. It's just wham, like, what the fuck? You're here? So about a week and a half, two weeks into my <clears throat> me being at campus uh, and me being technically uh, homeless but actually having a home, uh, then... I, I'm just a coffee one day, and it's just kind of like, okay, yada, yada. And I just see somebody out of the blue that doesn't seem to fit. Like, the, the, all the pieces of the puzzle are there, but it's just, mm, I, I'm not identifying it. So uh, I, I'm just kind of wary. It's just talking with uh, with Jake, Jake Tudor, and then he's just laughing, having a good time, just like, what's what's going on here? Like, who is this person? Like, uh, okay, this, this, this has got to be like a dependent of somebody, an Air Force chick, because no, nobody in my league, even in the Marines, would actually look that damn good and actually kind of like have that kind of personality. Like, I've, I've been exposed to other people like that. I'm sorry for misjudging you, uh, Kai, Sarah, um, all the others that I might have misjudged before. Um, you guys definitely have hearts of gold, uh, but it's it's him by a rough exterior, especially with the um, <laughs> with the resting bitch face we all have, especially Marines. Uh, so fucking aggressive. <laughs> but uh, second time around, um, I think it was either Rex or AJ introduced me to uh, to Jane, and then it was just like, okay, sweet, okay, uh, let's see how how things go. And that's just first instance, really strong handshake, like somebody that actually knows their strength and knows how to use it, but also works on the sales. Like, okay, that's fucking admirable. Like, 
I'm, I'm extremely interested in this person because let's see, extremely intelligent, uh, kind of like gorgeous looking, um, likes to actually uh, work out. It's just, uh, okay, who the hell are you? I've never met an amalgamation just like you before. Uh, and so within that uh, time period also, I found a few guys on, oh, sorry, not on Facebook, not on Craigslist, but from my friend, Dima Agden. Uh, that I was having <laughs> I was in trouble at the same time, uh, and uh, because apparently of his roommates doing some heinous shit and just uh, leaving him out to the wind, so he f had two opportunities, and I he asked me how I was doing. I told him about the homelessness. So I was like, shit. Well, man, I have two opportunities. Um, there's one I'm really interested in, but if uh, I don't take it, you can have it. And uh, there's another guy that I know. Um, that uh, is actually a dance teacher here, um, Tim, the, which I took Ballroom 1 to, uh, from, and I might be living with him. So I took him on that opportunity uh, when he said that uh, he actually was not interested in that. Uh, met Nick Warford, um, Cameron Baines, and uh, Emily Wilkinson, and uh, went out, got sushi, uh, met up a few more times, and it was just like, hey, yeah, sweet. Um, Dustin, the roommate that was actually going out, helped me finalize all the paperwork and such. And it was great because close to campus um, and <clears throat> uh, like a 10 minute walk uh, to campus. And like I had a place for my car that I could park, uh, that I could uh, not have to spend just constant time going out to Reeser and back, Reeser and back. Yay. That was amazing. Like less than 500 bucks a month. What the hell? That was awesome. That was a godsend. That was a freaking godsend. Um, and then, so with that, uh, about, let's see, third of the semester in, me and Jane start hanging out and I'll, I'll be extremely blunt. I'll be extremely um, just out there. We didn't have n n nothing. No, no kiss, no sex, nothing. It was just more us going on, uh, let's see, uh, rucks around the campus. Uh, so we just walked about six miles, uh, then had to where it was just like we would hang out at uh, Cuban Salsa. No, uh, let's see, uh, she did a few lessons, but I wasn't there for the lessons. I was actually just there to enjoy afterwards where it would just be like salsa, bachata, yada, yada, at uh, what was... Um, What's that place above Death by Donuts? Um, I'll remember later, but uh, it's closed down now. And uh, Cuban Salsa is somewhere else with Mike Eskeldon, who's amazing as a teacher. And then lastly was just kind of like uh, just going hiking, like uh, it, whether it, uh, it was usually in groups. And it just had to where we just talked. Uh, we both missed the Marine Corps. We actually liked it to where we were um, like just talking about and reminiscing about, which was really interesting because you usually don't tell boot stories to other people. And, do their, and they're just like, oh, yeah, about this, this, and this, and just keep on doing that. And then um, martial arts interested, both green belts, got both, uh, both got out sergeants. Um, and then figuring out that she was in, in Okinawa at the same time I was, but she was stationed there for about let's see three years and then uh went back to the states after uh, after those three to be there in california i think at either miramar or pendleton uh, i can't remember for the life of me i remember she said she missed uh, she missed cali she misses the beach um, but the weirdest thing was uh, as we actually grew to know each other it's kind of like we we started seemingly just falling for each other very hard and neither of us knew what the hell to do it's like we're just going to become friends like really really good friends and she she, she told me stuff which I, i'm not going to tell um but it was just very heartfelt like she opened her heart to me i was just shit like i don't know what to do with this especially treat this as you will I, i'm looking at things now not looking for things looking at as the results she had a boyfriend of five years, still in the Marine Corps. She visits him every once in a while, uh, every once in a while, uh, but he's Marine security guard, yada, yada. Uh, Hispanic, uh, Hispanic actually uh, was completely from Mexico. Uh, his family's still in Mexico. Uh, loves the Marine Corps and um, like she was supply and then he was uh, account billing, something like that. Um, uh, but it was just kind of like you're 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 doing stuff with me that 
you have not done in a while and especially with such passion uh, that you had done this with uh, your boyfriend of five years. I'm thinking to myself, like, this is kind of dangerous at the same time. Like, I, I just want to be friends right now. Like, I kind of want to see how this goes. So with that kind of falling, kind of falling, I'm just like, I don't know what to do with this. And I'm pretty damn sure she doesn't know either because after a while, it's kind of, it started just slowly what we would call ghosting. Uh, and that means kind of like just slowly fading away. And I had that before and I was, I was pissed off because that happened to me. And I was, that, that was somebody that I really respected, really admired, highly intelligent. Um, I, I wanted to, uh, just hang out with them, but also I was falling for them too. And I think they saw that, but that was also at the time that I was going into the Marine Corps and I didn't have to have that problem because I wasn't going into anything. It was just more of me kind of like hanging out with her. That was it. If if she wants to, she can uh, she can respond to all the questions. But at the same time, that's on her. That's not on me. I don't want to force anything on her. Uh, nothing. It's on her um, to answer anything that she wants. So with that, that actually scared me because I'm just like, wait, this this shouldn't be happening. Like I'm wondering why she's actually retreating, but she was trying to figure out and I had to take this as a result of kind of like, okay, like she was dealing with, uh, with classes. She was going through things. Uh, she had to, uh, become a, the CEO of a group because, uh, like th there are kids in college, like she's 24, 25, I'm 31. We're both just like, fuck man, these guys are so fucking stupid. Like, why can't they get their act together? And then figuring out a little bit later, at least for me, it's the education system. Like they're babying them so much. They're just making adolescence longer for four fucking more years at least. Um, she, she might have understood that later on. Um, it's extremely intelligent, extremely motivated, like hot damn. It's just, um, <laughs> that, that was partly what was attracting me to her too, because just the initiative and just how fortright she, she can become, but also just the spiciness, the personality. That's why I liked, um, well, as well as the Marine Corps ethos and everything. It was just, it, it was a combination of these things, but back on track since I'm rambling a bit, uh, this is a whole freaking thing of rambling that she started fading into the distance and I was more so scared, terrified and pissed because I'm like, wait a minute, we're spending all this time together and you're just going away. It's just like, this is not at all good because this was reminiscent of like said, what happened before. So try to reach out, yada, yada. Um, she went to Guatemala for a week and apparently there had happened something there don't know what, um, I have an inkling. I have a very good inkling that something horrendous happened to her. It's just, it's, she, she didn't even respond to anything or go to anything for about a month. Um, so it, it could have been something to her. She was thinking about me and her boyfriend and what the hell to do. Um, probably some fights with him, something happened uh, in Guatemala. I have no clue. Like I can only speculate. I'm giving you all this, uh, don't say anything to her unless she actually says something to you about that. Uh, like said, throughout this entire thing, give her space, give her ample time to talk, to go through this, things like that. I'm going to be posting this on the drive anyways to be able to have you guys listen to this and actually uh, see about like just, just what this was between me, Tony, and Jane. Uh, and Steve, sorry. And so then... Uh, going through that just i didn't know why she was avoiding me so i kept on buying her things because i knew she was uh, she liked going outdoors running uh shooting things like that but it didn't it, it didn't cross my mind that's just more like she was trying to process it and I, I i didn't get that until later in spring semester so going th uh, going through spring semester it was it was definitely interesting like um going from possible secretary of the student veterans association, which was just because, uh, like it, the, the, the system that had been set up before was not congruent with the system that actually I wish had been there, but it, it needed extreme tweaking. And, uh, Tony actually helped uh, out with that as well as Steve. 
Um, but then it, it seems like we were getting really good momentum. Steve was getting really good uh, recognition. Uh, Tony was actually moving out of the uh, presidency and Steve was taking it up. I would probably take vice president because I was so popular with everybody else. Yay. Um, I mean, I just wanted to help out. I still want to help out. Like, I don't care if I'm part of the Student Fashion Association or not. I'll still associate with y'all. It's just more like I don't want to go under that flag because of what it now means to me. And I, I, I don't like it. I don't like what happened. But it, it, it seemed like what, what Tony said, and this really kind of freaked me out, that after laying a bit about it, Steve runs his stuff like a business. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. And I'm just, I'm sitting back, I'm doing stuff. And I'm, I'm learning more and more because the one thing is with uh, the ghosting, um, the, the abject, uh, the abject almost poverty sometime, the loneliness, it was just more about me. It was just more about me trying to figure out like why why this was happening like why was Jane Kelly just ghosting me why was I having all these things to us just like nobody wanted to ask me why I was feel, uh, why I was outbursting why I was uh, like having issues with anger uh, like nobody was uh, like telling me hey like can you put that knife away really you're uh, you're freaking us out with just deploying it so quickly and so enthusiastically like nobody was telling me that and that's actually a disservice to me because I love actually having it to where people communicate with me because I want I want to learn about people I want to learn how to communicate but S Steve and Tony like especially Steve is a peace communication major which he lauds about like extreme ownership Jordan Pearson like deal Carnegie and that and those things it's just it, it, it fucking pissed me off after all figuring out that they especially Steve are only communicating yeah you know, Steve and Tony in the way that they want no other way like they, they want to implement their stuff and they're so oriented in their ways that it's uh, you have to knock them upside the head with reality and they might actually not like that and my lash back is just what happened to me because i saw a good amount of other people uh like ash going through depression tony was going through depression too because ash um oh, hot damn uh, like b besides me, there are a good amount of people. Uh, but then I saw toward like I, I saw glimpses of it, and this was especially in the meetings, to where Jane, like everybody else, was good. We we were commingling great, but it's like she was just there, not 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 really there, just there. It's like you have you have a lingering presence, and over time, it just got worse. It, it, it really got worse. It was just kind of like she was laughing. She was, uh, she was engaging with everybody else. Um, but it's like when, when, when I talked at first, it's just kind of like she, she had this very downcast approach that's just kind of like, yeah, it's, it's, it weirded me out because we were such good friends before and had to where it's kind of like, okay, I, I didn't know about this. This is really in the semester towards like, I was just talking. I just, tried to help and that's just kind of like it, it just seemed that it either fell on deaf ears or she had to repress a, a lot of things that she was feeling for me i didn't know that and i at least i know that now <clears throat> at the same time um like what i wanted was reciprocity i wanted to be able to communicate because if i don't get communication then i start taking the initiative on like okay why am i not being communicated with so I was going through like fucking levels of hell that I never thought. I had to actually figure out why this was happening, what was going on, how can I change myself, yada, yada. And it was an extreme process of like four to five months of just pure possible pain that I put myself through. Like I had to uh, get in touch with actually what was going on and why. Uh, and stain stain marie stain fucking marie i hope you're hearing this that would be funny rex told me about uh, like to, to just give up on jane uh, kind of like not have it to where i think about her um so much where i'm looking for something but stain took it to another level and this helped a lot it's stop looking for things and start looking at things 
So results oriented, like looking at things objectively, seeing how things are actually going, uh, looking at uh, like depression, anxiety, uh, introversion, extroversion, yada, yada. But I was more introduced, introduced, uh, to introversion because I'm, I'm an ambivert and I could do everything very well in other areas, but I, I, I had done extroversion so long that I forgot to actually look at myself. So with that, as well as Jane, which she is, uh, is she's definitely an introvert, accounting, uh, everything, likes to work alone. Uh, he even said that one of the meetings, like just vehemently said that. It's just, but looking over that, the way that she acted, the way she, uh, the way she walked, it, it was a trance. Like you, you don't have people walk in a trance unless they're just spellbound by something. But and she was, she was thinking a lot, a lot about something. And I don't, I, I, I could say it was possibly being lovesick because it just seemed kind of like she was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Her mind was going a thousand miles an hour. She wanted to figure stuff out. She wanted to be alone and process it. But at the same time, you can only be trapped in your mind for so long before you get fucking crazy. And that's why I was going through. That's why I had to reach out to you, Denise, uh, Rex. Um, like I had to talk with people. I had to think things through. I had to go through things because if I don't, then that would just wreck me. Uh, that would kill me. Like I was suicidal for so long, Lo highly anxious, highly lonely, highly depressed, but I had to get out. But uh, she didn't seem to have an out because nobody was asking. And that's one time at Salsa to where it's like we were just talking. And this one thing came out, it's like, why didn't, why didn't you come to dance with me? And, and she said this very softly, very truly, very purely. And it, it, it's, I, I wanted you to ask me. I was like, shit, like nobody was asking. Nobody, they were assuming and fuck that. We all know what assume spells at making an ass out of you and me. And I did not want that. I did not want that again. So I had to disobey Tony's and Steve's orders because I saw something that was eating at her. Like they wanted business uh, to fuck that. Um, like the one thing is this business can be business, but pleasure then could be pleasure. I, all I wanted was actually having a tour. She was functional again. And I like helping people. I, I love helping people. It's just more about me figuring out what's going on. And then seeing, okay, how can this actually help this other person by how I might be able to speak to them, through them, and just understand them better. Like, that's my goal. I want to understand why, why such things are happening to and with a person and how they can become better. Like, I'm extremely interested in people, but also extremely interested in other stuff that the people are interested in. You guys are very interesting. I, I do love it where I just speak to you and then it's just like, we just go off on tangents. I'm just like, oh, I know that. I know that. Wait, I don't know that. What about that? What about that? And it's just, just have a conversation that can go for hours. And that's why I just loved like she and I just talked back and forth for like one time, six hours. And we, we did little, very little salsa dancing. It was just talking, 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 talking about life, talking about things. And it was just ugh, like, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. I loved it. And so I, I had to, I had to help. Like I, I vehemently had to help. Like Tony and Steve were just like, dude, we're seeing things like, uh, we don't want to be uncomfortable for her, or for you. Like, uh, especially as vice president, uh, an upcoming vice president of the student veterans association. We, we don't want that to reflect bad on our organization because she f might feel uncomfortable for that. The weirdest thing is, is that started to become very, very <clears throat> apparent to me that they wanted to save face. They want this organization to look good, not only not only on paper but socially too. And that kind of struck me as odd because as veterans, it's kind of like we we can be very, very caring about other people, but also very aggressive toward things that aren't. Of reality and that struck me very odd because that started to make sense of why the college was doing other things too like they, they want you to be timid they want you to like not uh, like not break eggshells things like that and I said to him in one thing it's kind of like Steve I respect your stuff I really do 
and this is in a text to him, but you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. And he didn't like that because he didn't want to step on any eggshells and crack them. He's too much of a guy that actually wants to save face with other people. That is the fucking wrong thing to do when you have people that are very vulnerable, very depressed, very high in anxiousness, very high in, um, like they want to help others, but they don't know how to help. But when you have it to where you're nice, you're cordial, uh, you're, you're very curt, you're very polite, but you don't really offer some stuff, and you only, you only, only fucking, oh, this drove me up the wall every time, me and Emily, uh, and probably some of the others too, it's like, and you only react in the way that you want to. And I understand that, but at the same time, you have to talk how the other people do. And that's what I started wanting to do. Holy crap, some of you guys revealed yourselves to me in ways that I was just like, I gained their trust. This is weird, what do I do with that? Okay, um, just go ahead, just act, just act good, act good, act good right now. <laughs> so like, Emily and Andrew having a tour, it's like, uh, it, D Denise, um, oh, damn, Chris, Alex. <laughs> Chris is going through the same thing as Alex as I do with Jane. This is kind of funny. Um, Chris with a K, special K, not not vitamin C. Vitamin C is probably listening to this too. What the fuck? <laughs> Ring Corps, Ooh, Space Force, <laughs> Hell Jumpers, yeah. <laughs> Look at me carrying a full-on conversation by myself. Yay. It's about 11 o'clock at night in Montana. This is what I'm doing. Um, but... As I get to know y'all better, I got to know them better too, especially with their actions and their, their responses to me. It's like they want to scare me back into place. Tony wanted me to understand uh, perspective as respect and why I did. It just seemed like he wanted to respect me to respect his wishes, which I can do. And he wanted, he's told me a story of why, but he didn't want to listen, not to mine not to understand my perspective. And so that really got me riled up. It, it, it was just, why? Why are they not doing that? And Tony's the same way. He actually wanted to scare the fuck out of me back into my own lane. I heard that from his own lips. Because he was also scared. Like when Jane was saying, and she told this to me too, and like it was just a weird hiccup. I was like, okay, that's odd. I hate humans. Okay, that comes from a place to where People don't like it when other people are either pushing perspectives on them or having to where they assume things about them or they just don't want to understand. And I went through fucking every level of hell. And I, I vehemently hated people because they don't want to understand. They don't want to ask. And like I even, I, I, I seriously want to like, there was one time, and this was the deepest I had been. This was incredibly crazy. I had been so deep that I, I found betrayal at the heart of hell. Like it, it was just like uh, Dante's Inferno to where you have the devil frozen in ice and everybody just backstabbing each other. And people don't actually know that they're doing that when they don't understand how other people are talking. And I can understand that. But at the same time, like if you keep on pushing, fucking pushing perspectives on somebody when you're not allowing them to reciprocate and have it to where they're talking to you. <laughs> the dragon that you wanted to ignore will roast you and eat you. And that's what's going on right now between me and Steve and Tony. And Jane is sadly just outside of that. I don't, I don't know where she is. I'll try and find out where she is later. But they didn't want to listen. They just want to have a, a meeting where it's like, Kurt, very polite, but the, they, they weren't really all there. Like, I, 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 Rex told me to forgive them because they, they don't know what they're doing. And I did. I did. I, I, I forgive. I still forgive them. I still will, but I can only forgive so much, and it's very hard for me to forget things because if I put my whole heart out there and you just want it, just want for your stuff, you just want my skills, nothing else, you don't want even me, I will not deal with that. I will not. I will make sure that you do not have any of my resources, nothing. I will be curt, I will be polite, I will be proper, but you will not have me. No. 
And if you keep on pushing it, I will make sure that I divest myself completely from you and whatever you have in organization, business, whatever. Don't care. If you actually want me, you'll have to come and get me. That is what I vowed to them. And they were they were pissed off. They were just, dude, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, like, I don't even know why you're doing this. This is not you. But I had to figure out that I had to aggressively go through and figure out why I was being depressed, suicidal, anxious, and lonely. And I had to, I, I had to like demonize demons. Like I had to, I had to suck every ounce of marrow out of like everything to figure out why I was doing this. And it helped, it helped, but it changed me. I'm much more cynical now. I'm much, much less trusting of people. But once I get to know people very, very well, it's uh, like, I, I don't mean to manipulate anybody and talking about themselves. Like I'm just genuinely interested. I don't want to manipulate people. You guys can do that all by yourselves. It's just kind of like how you think sometimes. Like, good grief. The stuff that you think. And like, Kaya, ugh, some of the stuff that you thought was just, okay, that's weird. Uh. <laughs> Ask her if she, wants to, uh, if she wants to reply on that. But just, I, I had to ponder about that so long. It's just like, why, why is this happening? They're not seeing it. I know Rex will still say, you got to forgive him. You, you got to get back to the organization. I'd still say, no. I'm not going back. I, I really don't want to because if I do that, then they'd have won. And I, I don't want them to win. I actually want them to realize what's going on around them. Like, they, they want to win. They want a business. They want an empire. They have their heads so high in the clouds that it's it's just going to keep on going up. They, they want us to break our backs while they... They, they get all the glory. Like, I understand the presidency and vice presidency stuff is, is hard as shit work, but I didn't mind it. Like, I actually love working with y'all and for y'all, but I'm not going to make it into a fucking business. I don't want to. I don't want it to be all about me. Like, you guys are the guys that actually help me <laughs> so, so damn much. Like, hell, it was just, it's just great hanging out, actually just bullshitting a lot. Like, yeah, me as a hardcore Christian, it's just kind of like, I'm still a virgin. I'm still single. I'm still looking for somebody, which I'm really hoping Jane is still there. Because uh, I fucking don't want to settle for somebody that I, uh, uh, that just, just does not fit. And it fits so well. It's just, it was, I, I've never had it. And, those of you that know me, like I've researched the fuck out of things. Like I, I do stuff because I know that I need to do it. And I, I, I pursue it so vehemently. I, I'm very intense. Yeah. At the same time, that's somebody that will stand by you like through thick and thin. And I had to f go through every single person that I met, every single girl that I met, every, uh, and, and just figure out, okay, like what, what's the, where are the desired traits that I would actually like? I kept on looking at, kept on looking at, kept on looking at through like months and months of just research. And I had friends actually help me understand about introverts and things like that. Like so many resources, so many things. Dear God, thank you. I cannot praise you enough for that. But it all came down to a point where this will sound crazy. You already know I'm crazy. I've been crazy since the day I was born. It's I want to go out of this world the same way I came in, kicking and screaming and covering somebody else's blood. Some of you guys will just be like, eh, the others just, like, yeah, yeah, sure. Thumbs up. But I could not find another person that I had met in my 31 years of existence that matched her so well. And that weirded me the fuck out. It was just like, very good friends, very quick, fell for each other very well. Had to where it's just like she and I had to go away to try and figure out what was going on, but I had to figure out how to properly become somebody who I know I need to become to to pursue her or somebody else that might be out there. And it was enlightening, enthralling, fulfilling, like scary, dangerous, exciting. It was just, it, it was just the weirdest adventure. Like, I had to figure out who I actually was. And now I know. But do other people want to know? 
That's why I'm doing this. That's that's why I need to do this. Because if not, will you understand? Will you want to listen? So it's going to be my third day tomorrow as a wildland firefighter in Montana. And I enjoy it thoroughly. The camaraderie, the, the hard work, like me learning how to use a chainsaw very well, being shadowed, uh, like governmental work. It, it's so funny. It's just like the Marine Corps, except you have just th- th- these these guys that know what they're doing and do it very well, but also have it to where they have compassion on others and they actually want to know how 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 you are what's going on kind of like even if it's a seasonal or temporary job these guys love what they're doing and the girls too it's like they're alphas like they're a-type personalities and i love it it's just more like i i I want that this is solace but i can't get solace from something that i feel like i'm running from and i need to put this up i hope you guys are still listening i do because this is my point Steve and Tony need to check what they're saying with what they're doing. And if they think it still comes in the line, but you call them out on it, they keep on vehemently saying stuff like, "He, like you don't respect me, you don't see it from my point of view, things like that. Okay, try to. Try to do that if you already aren't do that. But they're trying to have it to where they just force it on other people, especially Steve with like you Chris vitamin C like him just being like no fuck you don't touch a kettlebell you'll do what I do it's just like shit man he's acting like you're a fucking boot and you're not you're 25 fucking years of age he's not that much older than you I don't give a shit if he already went to combat things like that pop a fucking cherry whatever dude you're not special I don't give a shit special forces whatever yada yada oh I'll special fuck you if you actually want to be a decent and actual good human being, you actually care about others instead of caring about your fucking self. Piece of shit. Sorry that hit a nerve. I, I don't like acting hypocritical. If you if if I do something and you don't like it, please tell me. Tell me. Tell me right away. Cause I need to know. I'll bull charge like into something so hard that like I might break it. But I also care. Care very, very much about like other people. Not necessarily always what other people think, but it's it's more about <clears throat> shit. Ah, sorry, cookie bacon. It's more about y'all. It's not about me. It's about y'all. Y'all can help me, but at the end of the day, it's about y'all. And it's something that. Like, I absolutely love working with other people, like finding out what motivates them, how they're doing, other things like that, because that actually gives me motivation to, like, help y'all do other things. It's just kind of like, I don't know, just increase quality of life. Because if we just have a system with that, like, we have the government where it's just, it's all standardized. Like, yeah, you can standardize stuff, generalize it, but at the same time, it's not going to work if if it doesn't produce the results that need so like stop looking for things and start looking at things I I'm still not going to go toward the student veterans association uh, stuff unless like send the message unless you guys are actually going to invite me and then I'll actually truly come back if they if they apologize for what they did hopefully they step down out of that or they they really do a 180 from what they did if not I'm not going to not at all Jane on the other hand if she doesn't respond to that kind of stuff um, well it's another matter entirely it's between me and her but I'll be around until I get into Air Force Special Operations Command as a steer specialist I'm going back in you guys know I'm I'm passionate about what I do. I hope you do. I care for you all a lot, but I feel God calling me into something much bigger, much better. And uh, I can't believe this thing is actually a job. Just look it up. Air Force Seer Specialist. S-E-R-E. Survive, Escape, Resist, Evade. That's all I'm going to say for now. Um, 
you guys have any more questions and things like that, well, just just text me, call me. I'm going to have a stupid amount of things once I open up this phone from airplane mode because I haven't done that. It's like fucking Pandora's box. It's going to scare the shit out of me, but whether or not I like it, I'm going to have to face it. Why I said because I can't take it back, but I don't want to because what I'm telling is the truth of the situation. I hope you think you guys can see it from both perspectives. Ask Tony, ask Steve, ask Jane if she wants to actually be asked. But please, if you have any more questions, if stuff isn't fulfilled, ask me. Thanks.